Inum tayo. Let's drink. Inuman tayo. Beer party. Hey, don't get me wrong. Hi, I'm Christine, and I've been teaching the Filipino language to foreigners for more than 10 years now. Welcome to my channel, Learn to Speak Filipino for Tourists and Expats. Inom tayo. Inom means drink. Okay? When you use the pronoun tayo, which is we inclusive, in Filipino, that's the pronoun, we inclusive of the listener, the whole thing, the whole expression, I'm sure you're all listening to me now. Okay? Inom tayo means let's drink. Okay? So, another way to say it, which is the beer party, which really means, no mistake about it, the beer party is inuman tayo. Inuman tayo. So, again, it came from the word inom, which is to drink, and then the tayo. What's the difference? Inom plus an, inuman, is adding an there to the action inom, which is to drink, makes it a collective action. So when you say inuman tayo, in Filipino, that means beer party. Okay, so uh, before we move on to other things, let's first start with something simple. What are the famous Filipino drinks? Okay, let's begin with the simplest. Too big. Too big is water. Can you say that for me? Too big. Okay, I'll teach you ha, depending on what you prefer or which you prefer. So you can say, malamig na too big. Malamig is cold. Too big is water. Okay, so if you like cold water, you say, malamig na too big. Okay, now, if you want hot water or maybe warm water, mainit na too big. Mainit is hot or warm and too big, of course, is water. So, too big is our term for water. So, depending on your preference, you can have malamig na too big or cold water, okay, hot water or warm water, um, Mainit na tubig. Okay, then let's add color because water has no color. So let's move on to kape. Well, judging by the number of cafes, both popular and uh, hole in the wall or mom and pop cafes in the Philippines. Okay, Filipinos are really coffee drinkers. Okay, so you say kape. So from the, from the Spanish cafe, then we say kape. How do we drink our coffees? Simple. Some very simple. Just the brewed coffee. Then you say kape. Okay. Walang asukal. Wala nan asukal is sugar. Okay. So black coffee is walang asukal. Walang gatas. Gatas is milk. So walang gatas. That means um no milk. Okay. So kape. And then we have um, kape gatas. Also that means kape with milk. Kapet gatas. Okay, let, let me break that down for you. Kape apostrophe T. Okay, why? Because kape at gatas. So I put together kape and, and at, A-T, which is the word for end. Okay, at means end. So kapet gatas. So kape coffee with milk. Very popular, aside from the cafes, because Filipinos are coffee drinkers. Um, we also have very popular the three in one. Do you know? Do you know what three in one is? Uh, three in one um, is that coffee. Three in one meaning there's coffee, cafe, there's gatas, and there's asukal. Okay, so coffee. Um, Milk and sugar. That's why we call it three in one. Kape, gatas, and asukal. So, kape, coffee, gatas, milk, asukal, sugar. This is very popular in the Philippines. So, in all the sari sari stores and even in the convenience store, in stores, in ga even in gasoline stations, okay, in the convenience stores within the gasoline stations, you will have a lot of three in one. Different brands, different kinds, okay? So, uh, three-in-one is also very popular in the Philippines. So, it's powdered coffee together with um, sugar, asukal, and gatas in sachet, okay? And then, all you need is mainit na tubig, okay? Hot water, and then you stir. And then, you have your three-in-one coffee. 
instant, okay? In a few minutes, as long as there's mainit na tubig or hot water, then you already have your coffee. Next is cha'a, okay? Cha'a, tea, te. Okay, in Filipino, we say cha'a. There are a lot of bubble teas in the Philippines, okay? Different kinds uh, from different origins. So Filipino, Filipinos are also crazy over tea. Okay, so let's move on to and focus on the simpler or indigenous Filipino tea, uh, which is called salabat. Okay, salabat. Salabat is tea made out of ginger. Okay, ginger is luya. Okay, so salabat, or we call ginger tea, is very good for colds. It's also very good uh, for sore throat. Anyway, so it has a medicinal quality to it, aside from it being a very refreshing drink. So you can drink it um, cold or you can drink it um, hot. So salabat. But for others, no, usually for, for its uh, medicinal properties, many Filipinos drink it mainit or hot. Okay, mainit na salabat or hot ginger tea. Moving on to chocolate. Okay, so... The famous chocolate drink all over the world, okay, is also popular in the Philippines. And um, there are also a lot of chocolates, uh, kinds of chocolates in the Philippines, okay. So there are also a lot of chocolate drinks. Okay? So we also have uh, the famous one uh, that we call batirol. Okay? So chocolate batirol, okay? we're in it, it's... Um, you incorporate another process to make sure that it is thick. Okay, so um, just a trivia, the concept of chocolate or the Philippine chocolate was also discussed in Noli Metangere. Uh, as I mentioned, there's thick chocolate. No? So there's a distinction between uh, two kinds of chocolate. So you have in Noli Metangere, the novel written by Jose Rizal, there is what you call the chocolate e and the chocolate a. Okay? So the chocolate e, okay? so mind this trivia, if you're interested, you can look up Jose Rizal in his novel, Noli Metangere. So when the friars serve uh, ch chocolate or chocolate to their visitors, okay, there is a code to the helper. So when when the friar mentions chocolate e, chocolate e, okay, that is the chocolate that is rich, creamy, and thick, okay? That is for VIPs or very important people, okay? Now, when the friar mentions chocolate a, okay, chocolate a, that is the code for chocolate that is not so thick, it's runny, Okay, because it is for Filipinos or not so important people. Okay, so anyway, um, there's a lot of chocolates or chocolate in the Philippines because we also grow chocolates. Okay, so cocoa is also grown um, in some parts of the country. Okay, now, so moving on, we also have other popular drinks like um, buko juice. Buko is coconut, usually. The buho juice is taken from the young coconut. Okay? So um, the juice is taken out. Okay? Others, because it's still young and the meat of the coconut is still very soft, they drink the juice together with a, with a thin and very soft um, gelatinous meat of the young coconut. So we call it buho juice. So the buho is what we term for the young coconut. Aside from that, there's also the Philippine lemon. We call it calamansi. We also have a lot of that here. Uh, it's native to the Philippines. So calamansi juice um, is also very popular. Okay, Filipinos also drink that. So, or if, you, if you're coughing or you have a sore throat, they mix the calamansi juice together with the salabat. Okay, for, for a soothing and medicinal drink. Now, I'm sure you're all waiting for the beer, okay? So we call beer. We have beer in the Philippines. This is not an advertisement. I have no connection whatsoever to San Miguel beer, okay? But you can look it up, and it's one of the... Uh, it's, it's a very old 
drink that came from the Philippines and we call it beer, San Miguel beer. Okay? So, um, inuman tayo, that means let's have a beer party or let's have a drinking spree. Um, usually, we refer to beer. Okay? So, San Miguel beer. So, now we also have the original one and then we have the light. Okay? So, let's move on. General term for wine or liquor, we call alak. Okay, alak, that is what we call uh, wine or liquor generally, you know, hard or hard drinks also we call alak. Okay, so, um, depends on what you like, depends on what you do and who you do inuman, drinking with. So, you can go to the simplest um, tubig, water. You can have kape. You can try our three-in-one also and let me know. Um, if you also find it as delicious or as sweet as we do, okay? And then we also have chocolate and then salabat and then chaa, okay? And then we have beer and the general term for wine or liquor um, is alak. So I should say um, drink moderately <laughs> depending on what you drink or just enjoy your mainit na kape. Maraming salamat. Until next video.